Apple might have just figured out how to get rid of the crease on the foldable iPhone and Samsung might follow suit. Listen, the question I get every time I review any foldable is how is the crease, which makes sense. I'm of the belief that you just can't defy physics, but reports have it that Apple demands are helping push this agenda in that direction and fixing a major complaint from this entire industry. Analyst Ming Shi Kuo called out that Apple is implementing a new laser drilled metal plate on its foldable iPhone manufacturing manufactured by Fine M Tech, which helps disperse bend stress, allowing the screen to fold without any visible crease. I wish I could see how it works, but what's interesting is that Quo also calls out that Samsung will bring this technology to the Galaxy Z Fold 8, which makes sense as we hear both companies are partnering a lot for this device. If this actually works, it could just be that we'll be getting two creaseless foldables next year, as reports still have Apple gearing up for this device in 2026, though some call for an early launch and others for the fall, though now I'm even more inclined to an earlier launch if you consider the fact that Apple's going to want to launch their foldable before Samsung. The foldable iPhone is expected to be much smaller than the Z Fold 7, though with a 7.8-inch internal display, a 5.5-inch outer cover screen, and then less cameras with just two modules, Touch ID, and I assume two selfie cameras, even if the rumors only call out for one. I doubt it. I guess the biggest question is how much would both of these phones cost? whenever they launch. I'm curious to know what you think the price will be for both these devices in the comments.